fatal accident on the East Coast. New bridge construction to start soon. Common entrance results released Friday. And Bert remains found in Yarokapa. Bullford, and this is Uncut News. Do you see news happening? Send us a tip on WhatsApp at 592-659-6151. An accident at Good Hope East Coast Demororo this afternoon has left one minibus driver and a passenger dead, and three others seriously injured. According to reports, the driver of a truck sped up and rear-ended the minibus after being overtaken by said minibus. The collision caused the vehicle to flip over several times before coming to a halt. The Demerara Harbor Bridge is now open to vehicles weighing 18 tons. Nevertheless, the government is issuing an urgent call to truck drivers to desist from hard braking, which is reducing speed suddenly on the bridge as such an action can damage the aging structure. It should be noted that the speed limit is below 30 kilometers an hour on the bridge. On a related note, work on the new Demerara Harbor Bridge is expected to commence before year's end, according to the Finance Ministry's mid-year report. The report also detailed the bridge's specifications, saying, quote, the hybrid designed bridge will feature a modern four-lane structure, two carriageways, cycle lane, with a length of 2.65 kilometers or about 8,700 feet, driving surface of about 24 meters or 78 feet, with a lifespan of some 100 years. The works are expected to commence in the second half of the year. Minister of Education Priya Manikchan announced this morning that the results for this year's National Grade 6 Assessment Examinations will be released on Friday, the 9th of September. The ministry had previously announced a September 15th release date. Students who pass the examinations will be heading into Grade 7 in late September or early October of this year. Over 16,000 students across Guyana took the exams this year. The Medical Council of Guyana issued a notice in the local newspapers on Monday warning of another medical fraudster. After being accused of operating several bogus nursing schools and medical schools between 2009 and 2016, Nanda Kisun is now suspected to be impersonating a registered medical practitioner. The medical council says she's pretending to be Dr. Kavita Singh, the former coordinator of the Ministry of Health's Chronic Diseases Department. The matter has not yet been reported to the police as the council is still investigating the claims against Kisu. Last night, a thunderstorm over Burpees caused extensive damage to a home in Wellington Park. The homeowner, 37-year-old food vendor Amanda Beaton, said a lightning bolt struck the house, blowing out the windows, frying all the appliances, and damaging the structure itself. Beaton, who sells food for a living, is unsure of how she will recover from the losses as her kitchen appliances are how she makes a living. Are you a truck owner? Pay close attention. Avoid lengthy downtime when your truck broke down. Get high-quality DAF, International, Freightliner, Bedford TM, or Scammel Truck Parts at the lowest prices at Powered Automotive. Visit them at Lot D1161 EE -E Eccles or call them on telephone number 6970171. Save big on truck parts at Powered Automotive, the number one heavy-duty truck parts store in Guyana. Now it's time to tell you about Best Buy's Car of the Week. Currently on sale is this 2016 Suzuki Jimmy Sierra four-wheel drive. It comes with regular and low-range four-wheel drive Bluetooth mark rims, new tires, TV, CD, stereo, fog lamps, park camera, and much, much more. Buy cash for $3.4 million or pay as low as $700,000 down with around $67,000 monthly for five years and it is yours. Call or WhatsApp 662-0844 for more info or visit the showroom at 171 Peter Roche, Queenstown. A lot to Lamashi and Southern America sent you for this sweet deal. On Monday, the burnt remains of a person were discovered at Snake Farm Yarocabra, about 200 feet north of the entrance leading to the South Dakota circuit from the Suzdike Linden Highway. Investigators also found a pair of unburnt Air Jordan sneakers with the victim's intact foot inserted, along with several other personal possessions. An investigation is ongoing. <laughs> 
24-year-old farmer Corwin Walker was charged with the murder of Selman King, a logger from Waruni, Burpees River. Walker was accused of chopping King to death and severing the hand of his cousin, 18-year-old Shane Osborne, during a drunken argument at a rum shop in Kimbia. He was not required to plead to the charge and was remanded to prison until October 24, 2022. The Maritime Administration Department has announced that dredging on the west bank of the Mazaruni River has commenced and is expected to conclude on December 15, 2022. The activity will be conducted south of the Taperu Crossing in the Kayuni Mazaruni region. The dredging will be part of a larger campaign to enhance the flow of marine traffic in the nation's waterways. 28-year-old Vicky Balgobin has been arrested after the police identified him as the driver in the fatal hit-and-run accident along the Blankenburg Public Road, West Coast of Marara, that killed 42-year-old Azad Khan. According to a report, Balgobin admitted that he was the vehicle's driver and explained that he fled the scene because he panicked after the collision. On Friday, two men were robbed of $5.8 million just hours after they were paid their salaries in cash. According to the police, the robbery occurred on a minibus in Region 3 and was perpetrated by two male suspects posing as passengers on said minibus. As the bus reached Zealot, one of the men pulled out a gun and took the victim's belongings as well as the driver's keys before fleeing on a motorcycle that was parked nearby. Your home is your most valuable asset, so before you sign on the dotted line, call VJS Home Inspections. They are a licensed and insured home inspection company with professionals operating in the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Long Island, and Westchester County. From electrical and plumbing issues to a leaky roof, if there's a fault in the house, VJS will find it using the latest industry technology, including infrared scanners, HG drones, and more. So, if you're buying or selling a home in New York, make the smart choice. Call VJS Home Inspections at 914-513-9356 and tell them Noriko sent you. It might not be robbery season, but the streets are still mean. That's why you need to get security for your home and business through Sheriff Security Service. Sheriff Security offers well-trained guards, armed and unarmed patrol, marine patrol, canine services. These people even got drones. Why? Because your security is their highest priority. You've seen the rest. Now hire the best. Hire Sheriff Security Service today. Now for our uncut news, viewers poll question of the day. Every day we pose a question about current events in Guyana of the region, the diaspora, and how you feel it plays to us. Yesterday, I asked how you feel about the breakdown of this year's mid-year reports. And if you'd like to see more episodes on this show dedicated to budget breakdowns like this, or just to stick to the daily news alone. Lash said that they appreciate the breakdown, said it's good stuff. Budget breakdowns will definitely be appreciated loads, because to sit down and watch the children pews in the national rum shop kills I man brain cells. Me too, Lash. Me too. I absolutely hate it. Before we get to tonight's question, you can multiply your cash by selling Digicel Top Up. This is a legit way you can earn some extra money at your business or to supplement your current hustle. Become a Top Up vendor quick and easy by linking with Cellular Plus. Call them on telephone number 685 3109 for more info. Now for tonight's question How do you feel about the common entrance examinations? Given the impact it has on a student's academic career, do you believe it is a fair assessment? If not, what should be done instead to select how our children go into grade 7? I want you to think about that question. Tell us in the comments below. If your response is good enough, we just might feature it in our next episode. Anyway, that's all the time we have for tonight. And check us out tomorrow for another. Until then, I'm Rico Bullford saying goodnight, folks.